Hello, this is Spencer Pines here with iReviews. Uh, today I'm going to do my full structured video review on the sidekick that I got in from PillowCube. Uh, in addition to this video, there will be a unstructured unboxing video, uh, as well as a written review, which should be available in the description below. So to start off, uh, the PillowCube I was sent, this is, as I said, this is a sidekick model. They have a much longer model, uh, which I believe is uh, the Side Sleeper Pro. Um, so, Pillow Cube markets itself pretty much exclusively to people who sleep on their sides, uh, which I imagine if you are somebody who exclusively sleeps on your side, finding a product right for you is very difficult. Uh, and that's where this comes in. It's like meant to be like right there, right on your shoulder. And it's a memory foam pillow. It's actually very soft. There's a lot of, there's a lot of give to it. I say it's very soft. I actually, I had, I had quite a bit of issue falling asleep on it because I primarily sleep on my back. So I was having it here and it's soft when you put your hand on it, but when you put your head on it, it seems very firm. And I am more used to having like a very soft pillow. Um, I even, I mentioned in my unboxing video, I have like four on my bed and I usually take the top one and kind of like fold it over to be more firm. So, I found it like pretty difficult to actually fall asleep with the pillow cube. Change the camera angle here to show a bit more how this works. So yeah, it's supposed to be like that. I think they intended you on having like no pillows underneath it. So yeah, you would do it like this, which like this, it looks very bare, especially without the pillowcase. Uh, I kind of wish they'd included an option to have like a free pillowcase. Well, I mean, there's one that it comes with, but to like have one of their like premium free pillowcases, just like one offered with it. So, um, typically when I try falling asleep on my side, I just experience a lot of chest discomfort. So I, I always just end up going onto my back. And that's, that's where this gets like a little bit difficult. Um, from what I've seen from other reviewers, uh, if you're a side sleeper, you're going to really love this. If you're not a side sleeper, it just might not be for you. And even their uh, Pillow Cube's marketing seems to be almost hostile towards uh, people who don't sleep on their sides. Um, so, so I really couldn't like fall asleep on it. But if I was just like chilling in my room, like watching TV or something, I, I did find it very comfortable. And I also found uh, that if I put, you know, like between my knees when I slept or like under my knees, apparently that this is like a really healthy thing to do. It was very comfortable. So for what the pillow cube sets out to do, I think it definitely achieves that being like a better option for side sleepers. Um, the problem is if you're a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper or actually most people uh, tend to swap between their side and their stomach or their side and their back or anything. This might not be like the most comfortable if you're intending to sleep on it. My biggest issue with Pillow Cube though is the price. Uh, this is the Sidekick and they have this on their website as their like travel and budget option, but this is still like $70. And then the Side Sleeper Pro, which is more of a like standard size pillow that you can just put any case on, that is going to run you like almost double that. I want to say like about 130. I'll put the actual price up on the screen. And I think the fact that the Side Sleeper Pro is like double the amount of this just really doesn't rub me the right way. Uh, personally, I, I think the Side Sleeper Pro should definitely be quite a bit cheaper. Um, there are a lot of other options you can find. I, I think even you could probably find a good replacement at like a Walmart or like a memory foam pillow. Uh, it won't be as good as Pillow Cube, but it will it will certainly get the job done. But yeah, I would definitely, if I was like in charge of the Pillow Cube marketing, I would uh, lower the price by a lot. If you can find a Pillow Cube either like on sale or even if you can find like one secondhand maybe, I don't know how often you all are looking for secondhand pillows, but if you can find one for cheap, I would definitely look into it. Overall, though, this is 
the product itself is great. Um, it may not suit everyone. It certainly didn't suit me, especially for its intended purpose. But if you are somebody who exclusively sleeps on their side, I think you're going to get a lot of use out of this. Again, the problem just is that like very steep price. And if you spring for the, uh, the ice cube, which is uh, like a cooling, they put some cooling agent in there to keep the pillow like cool. So you don't have to keep flipping it over. Uh, that's going to run you even more. And I haven't tried the ice cube yet, but this is actually pretty cool enough. I'm not really sure if you even need that. So final thoughts. Uh, great product. Serves its purpose. Too expensive. Thank you.